Hello again and welcome back to my tutorials. This is Gabby with Enders Analytics and this week I've decided to do a tutorial on how to implement Google Analytics using Google Tag Manager and uh, as a little sidebar I'm also going to be showing how to do this with WordPress because my site uh, my sites are all done with WordPress. So as you can see we're looking at the um, Google Tag Manager um, interface and I've already set up Google Tag Manager for my business site Enders Analytics. Um, so since I've already done that um, I'm going to go back and I'm going to use one of my personal websites um, and set up, I'm, I'm using Google Analytics to track um, through them already and so I'm going to use that as an example. So first things first we're going to go ahead and create a new account account name uh, is going to be kind of guns. That is my um, sort of personal brand persona that I use on the internet um, outside of my, my business persona. Um, and you can opt to share data anom anonymously with Google and others. You don't have to. Um, it's for benchmarking and things like that. Um, as a web analyst, I always share because I, I feel like um, I don't mind them knowing my data. Um, you can obviously always uncheck that if you wish. And click Next. And so set up account, set up a, a container. So um, anything related to Kleinagunz and the Kleinagunz website is going to be um, managed through this account. And the container name, in this case, I'm going to call it Kleinagunz.com because that's what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be adding the Google Analytics. I'm already tracking Google Analytics on it through a WordPress plugin, but I'm going to be uh, removing that and changing over to using uh, the Tag Manager instead. And so where to use it, web pages or mobile apps? I'm going to be using it for web pages. I don't currently have any mobile apps. Um, and then add a domain. So it's going to be HTTP and then kind of cons. Huh. Alrighty, so there you go. And now time zone. Uh, I am in the US. I am in mountain time. And create the account and container. Okay, now you have your service terms of agreement. You know, feel free to read through those and, and understand those at your leisure. I will click accept. Now uh, we get our code snippet. So this is very similar to when uh, you're implementing manually um, Google Analytics in general. Is you get a code snippet, you have to stick it in a page, stick it somewhere on your pages. Here it says here you want to place it immediately after the opening body tag. Okay, so I obviously am going to take this and I'm going to copy it. Now I need to go here, and this is my. Um, WordPress interface for Kleinagunz.com and to uh, place the code in the proper place I go under Appearance Editor and I'm just going to go under the header.php since we need it put it after the body tag so here I need to find the opening body tag it's right there and it's uh, embedded with some PHP there but that's alright and I am just going to paste uh, my tag manager right there. Okay, so there we go. We have the tag manager in place. Click update file and it has been edited successfully. However, this is not <laughs> the only thing you can do. Uh, this does not automatically enable Google um, Tag Manager to work because as you notice I haven't done anything in terms of telling it what my Google Analytics account is and that kind of thing. So we've got other things that we want to do. Um, first off though I want to go ahead and go into my plugins. This is a little sidebar for uh, anyone using WordPress. If you don't use WordPress don't worry about it. And I need to find here Google Analyticator. I'm just going to deactivate it. I can uh, de delete it later, but I'm just going to deactivate it for now so that there's no conflicts between it and um, Tag Manager. So now we go back to Tag Manager. And then here are a number of types of tags you can implement. So you can do some custom stuff. You can do um, AdWords. You can do double click, or you can do Google Analytics. Those are some of the out of the box ones that you can do. So here we go. So here is the the tag name. So I'm going to also call this Kleinagunz.com um, and base code. Okay, I am using Universal Analytics and now here I need the tracking ID. So I am going to go ahead and I'm using my, a different browser here. This is my Google Analytics interface. I want to go into admin. 
Um, I need to make sure that I'm using, because I, I track both my uh, YouTube vlogs and my website blog, so I need to make sure I'm in the blog. And then I just want the tracking info. So let's do tracking code. And here is the tracking ID that I need. So I'm just going to copy that back to Tag Manager and paste. Then uh, you can opt to enable display advertising features. This gives you demographics information and that kind of thing. Um, I am opting to do that. Um, I'm going to choose track type. Excuse me, track type of page view. That's sort of the default for uh, Google Analytics. I'm just going to keep it that way. I'm going to take a real quick look. There's a whole bunch of other settings here that you can set. Um, for right now, I'm just going to leave them um, as is. And then there's a couple of advanced settings in terms of um, custom tag firing schedules and that kind of thing. And I'm also going to leave that as is as well. Um, and now I'm just going to go ahead and save that. So now we've got the tag. So the tag itself, one, is not going to do anything until we publish it. And it also won't do anything until it has a rule. So the next thing I need to do is make sure I have a rule. Okay, by default, out of the box, there's an all pages rule already created. Um, and I need to tie that into my tag. So way over here on the right hand side, it's called firing rules and you want to add the firing rule. Um, this is something that took me a little while to figure out why is it not working. Well, that's because I have not created it. So you can you have to choose an existing rule or create a new rule from a um, from the fly from right here. But here, we're going to go ahead and save that. All right, so now we have a firing rule. So um, the base code is connected to the rule, the rule is connected to a base code, etc. Now, uh, all I need to do is I can preview it if I wish to. You can do a quick preview, you can debug, you can share, etc. Or if you're confident that you've done everything correctly, you can go ahead and hit publish. So create version and publish. So there we go. I just uh, created the version. I clicked publish. And one thing we can go ahead and do is we can go visit the site. And then I use to verify my uh, my, my data, um, let's see if it is already there, is I go ahead and I do F12 in Chrome. And I use the observe point plugin. And I'm going to go ahead and refresh. And here we go. So there is my Google uh, Universal Analytics and my Tag Manager. So everything is uh, firing, and I can take a look at this. And you can also see everything that is firing from that. Um, and then within Tag Manager, obviously, like I said, there's a whole lot of options. You can um, expand upon that in terms of the type of tracking and, and things that you want to do from there. But I will do, go into that in a separate tutorial. So that is how you would uh, enable uh, Google Analytics using the Google Tag Manager. And then as a side note, how you would do it with a WordPress site. Although obviously that code snippet can uh, be put into basically any kind of an include file, just as long as it's included after the body tag of every page of your site, and then you're good to go. All right, thank you so much for joining me. If you have questions, please leave comments in the, uh, in the comments below, and I will be happy to try and answer them as best as I can. And until next week, take care. Bye-bye.